The year of the pandemic is testing our resolve, our relationships, even our paradigms. Our constants became question marks. We followed two North Texas families in their return to school, realizing quickly it was not a return to normalcy. We're the Whitfield family. A family of six from Wiley. Parents Lee and Alicia work from home. Four kids, four different schools. Caden is 16, and this is his senior year at Wiley High School. Definitely not the senior year I had envisioned. I call him Liam. He calls me Joshua. The Williams are a family of six from Trophy Club. Michael and Teresa are both teachers. When's the last time you saw your friends? Uh, June. Four years ago. Most all of the kids vaguely know about the coronavirus. It hasn't hit home as much as it has for other people, I bet. The pandemic has, has made school different. I feel like parenting is different. You know, we've gone from like this level to this level. The Whitfields have decided on virtual learning for everyone. The decision to stay home. For us, it is a matter of life or death. Okay. Really. Sienna has severe asthma. Caden has a heart condition. Hi, Liam, how are you? The Williams have their own challenges, going? managing teachers' schedules right. with their children's schedules. Well, for us, it was the only decision because we're both working parents. Why we have to be on Zoom? Because, we're, because we can't go in school. Because of COVID-19. This is the first day back at school. Good morning, boys. Say good morning. The first days and weeks of school are very different. I have to say I'm a ball of emotions. Caden starts in 24 hours, and we still have not received um, his schedule. And we discovered that the room that they were going to be in does not have Wi-Fi. The times are no different for schools. Open classrooms now have dividers. Hallways have spacing and sanitizer. The students wear masks. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. We can't sit next to our friends at lunchtime. So, like, we have to be a seat away. Yeah, I cannot see them the way I want to see them. Virtual learning from home has been hard on Caden, a graduating senior who had to give up color guard this year. But more importantly, his support system is at school. I feel so deprived of getting to see people and, like, talk to people in person to where it's taking a serious emotional toll on me. Honestly, at this point, I think dropping out of high school, it sounds, it sounds like a pretty, it sounds pretty appealing. I've got a job. I mean, what, what's, what's the problem? This was definitely the first time that I had heard him say that dropping out of school would be easier. But at the same time, for me, it's about trying to make sure that he realizes that this is temporary. His education is something that he's gonna carry the rest of his life and dropping out is not an option. But it's not just Caden. Izzy especially is pretty much every day tells me she wishes COVID didn't exist. Weeks into school and reality hits. This is exactly what we were all worried about. The number of COVID cases mount, as do the emails from schools. We've gotten a lot this week, three this three. week. Alerting parents to positive cases on campus. So far, no quarantines, yet. Three months into school and the Williams children have eased into the new environment. But if this year didn't have enough surprises. And my dad had called me Sunday saying he started running a fever. Said I just got the positive result. I just broke down. <laughs> In all this darkness, there is some light. Her father has pulled through. Caden has a college and scholarships waiting for him. But it's clear the pandemic has taken its toll physically, emotionally, and socially. I mostly feel like we're, we're all missing something. You know, I don't want them to look back on their childhood and to remember the year that we stayed home. Neither family has regrets about their return to school decisions. The family dynamics dictate the decisions we make. You know, I've said from day one, when school started, small wins. You celebrate those days that are not a loss. You celebrate those days that are not a loss. This year has been a huge test for all of us. 
And right now, we're all just trying to pass. In North Texas, I'm Joe Panicker.